Legislation signed today prohibiting people from taking guns to a wide range of places in Hawaii. While the goal is to make the state safer, the signing met with some opposition. Hawaii Governor Josh Green signing SB 1230 Friday, making it illegal to carry firearms in so-called sensitive places, including government buildings, hospitals, restaurants and bars that serve alcohol, plus stadiums, movie theaters, concert halls and colleges. The legal overhaul comes in response to a U.S. Supreme Court ruling from last year that expanded gun rights by saying Americans have a right to carry firearms in public for self-defense. New York and New Jersey adopted similar laws last year that were quickly met with legal challenges now making their way through federal courts. With decades of experience as an ER doctor in Hawaii, Green says gun violence is a public health crisis and action needs to be taken to address it. What you're going to see today is us moving from the state with the second lowest rate of gun violence in the country and we hope to the state with the lowest rate of gun violence in the country. Uh, back on the mainland, I was one of the physicians that took care of individuals that were victims of gun violence. Not only that, uh, I lost a loved one to a suicide uh, with a gun. And so anything that we can do, we should do. I think the legislature and the governor have done a great job of making Hawaii safer uh, in the face of the Supreme Court telling us that we had to issue concealed carry weapons permits. Republican Representative Diamond Garcia spoke to KITV4 about the decision. I did not support the uh, Senate Bill 1230, which is now Act 52, which simply restricts people's constitutional uh, right to, to carry firearms to protect themselves and their family. And I think, you know, oftentimes we get so caught up in the emotions of all these national shootings that we forget the intent of the Second Amendment, which is the reason why our, our founding fathers put that into the U.S. Constitution, not four, five, or six, or seven, but the Second Amendment, is so that we understand that it, it's there for citizens to protect themselves against tyranny, against an oppressive government. And Senate Bill 1230, which was signed today, uh, is simply unconstitutional. Also, Andrew Namiki Roberts, director for the Hawaii Firearms Coalition, said today he feels SB 1230 does nothing to improve public safety. He also feels it's an attempt to keep a ban on carrying firearms in public, and he's against it. Roberts also said the Hawaii Firearms Coalition will file a lawsuit when the law goes into effect this summer. Eric Nacton, KITV4, Island News. Eric, thank you. The governor today also signed a bill to give school staff and students the skills that they need to respond if an active shooter situation happens on their campus. It requires the Department of Education to find and contact an organization to implement an active shooter training program for all of Hawaii's public schools, including charter schools. This is very important. It's always a collaboration between the House and Senate, but bottom line, it's about making sure that our kids are safe, our teachers are safe, everyone that works at our schools are safe. So it's about preparation, knowing what to do, if heaven forbid there is an active shooter situation on any of our campuses. What we are asking the Department of Education to do is find and contract with someone who can do, or uh, several you know companies that can do, what the teachers should do, what the students should do, should an active shooter shooter be on campus. The law takes effect immediately.